Okay. <laughs> There's dogs everywhere. Um, we, have, we need to have all of our windows replaced. We're going to change up the fireplace a little bit. Right now it's a gas fire in there. Our plan is to basically do most of the work, have the house revalued, have an expert come out and actually look at it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like every single video I'm wearing like the same sort of clothes. I have like DIY clothes. <laughs> so that's why my wardrobe seems to be samey samey. Don't worry, everything's getting washed, but I don't want to make my new clothes all dirty and covered in paint and God knows what. Rocky, <laughs> there's dogs everywhere. Um, okay, so I thought, so I've taken you guys around the house on an empty house tour. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link that here because um, it's worth going and checking out. It's just like a full on run through on the day that we moved in, seeing it empty with no furniture in it. But... I did promise that I would do a bit of a video kind of sharing what our plans are for the bungalow, what we want to do. Plan is the key word. This is what we want to do. This could change in a few months time. We'll see, but it'll be interesting to look back and see what we did stick to and what we didn't. Um, I've also said that I want to be fully transparent with everything, how much we're spending, how much things cost. I feel like there's not enough information out there to be able to kind of fully understand how to budget how much things cost things like that so i want to be as transparent as possible um i keep everything on a spreadsheet i budget everything and then when we spend stuff i obviously put it on my spreadsheet so i can keep track and see if we're going to be on budget there are some things that we've come under budget some things will be spot on i think the only thing that has been blown out of the water is replacing the windows that was far more expensive than I was anticipating. But anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing on. I'm gonna take you through room by room what our plans are, general kind of vibe, general kind of maybe aesthetic. I don't wanna to dig too deep into that because obviously we'll see when it comes to it. But anyway, so best place to start is probably things that are gonna affect the whole house, like the roof and the windows. So we know that the roof needs a bit of work um we haven't got quotes for that yet it's not bad um but i think the lifespan on it is coming to the end so we're kind of um we're basically just going to get some quotes in i've contacted loads of people i'm uh, roofers are the one person i'm struggling to get through the door to be honest so we're kind of weighing up whether we just patch the roof up and give it you know five ten more years we don't really know or whether we actually replace the whole roof i am not a huge fan of the tile on the roof so there's part of me that's like oh let's just put a new roof on that looks a lot nicer and is more kind of our aesthetic um but then at the same time we don't want to needlessly just waste money and waste a perfectly good roof if it does have a lot more time left in it so that is something very much on our radar um there's quite a bit of the like soffits and fascias that i think i said that right soffits um yeah like the fascia boards are not in good condition um so i would like to just replace the bits that are damaged and paint them because they're wooden i personally don't like pvc um where where we can have wood i would rather have wood basically so we're hoping just to kind of fix the bits that are broken and just sort of repaint them and make them look brand new windows like i said really really big <laughs> outgoing there i'll do a separate i won't talk to you guys about like budgets and stuff at this point i'll talk to you guys about that later but the window in the lounge in particular is ginormous i think it's 3.8 meters wide um, it's a lot of glass. We have, we need to have all of our windows replaced. Um, I had hoped that we would be able to reglaze them, but I've had quite a few people come through the door, tell me that it's not really, it's not, not a sustainable way, but they, but a lot of people won't touch it as a job. It could have a lot of problems later on. It's a really difficult job to do because of the type of frames blah 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 it would be easier just to replace them so yeah the windows are a big outgoing we're gonna go for like a really nice anthracite on the exterior replace the brown which just looks really miserable to be honest 
and go for a white interior. So obviously that's gonna affect the whole house. Um, moving into the hallway, I'm gonna try and take you guys around like in a route that makes sense. So hallway, obviously we're gonna be like painting, redoing the flooring, everything. There's like a, this carpet runs throughout the whole house, which is not ideal. Um, so we're looking to have a wooden style floor. I say wooden style because we're not entirely decided. Basically we want like a light wood effect. Um, so we're just looking at our options now, pricing up different options, whether we go for like a laminate. Um, there's a few different options anyway. So light wood floor, white walls, nice, simple, clean. We will be replacing the door as well because the door is actually not even double glazed. All of the windows in the house are double glazed. It's just really old, not legal glass because it's not safety glass. So the door is single glazed very very cold so we're going to be replacing that we're going to keep the side lights side lights yes side light panel glassings on the side um but probably go for a solid door we were kind of ooing and ahhing about this for a while because the door is actually like the hallway is south facing it lets in a lot of light so i was worried about going with a solid door however we're going for clear glass on the side lights where our door is is super private so i'm happy to go for clear glass we're not the kind of people who walk through the house naked anyway so we're happy to do that but i don't want a glass door i wanted a solid door so that was like a bit of a kind of compromise with lighting that we're gonna have to do um but anyway as you kind of come in through the hallway, the door straight in front of you is the door to the kitchen. The kitchen is like, it's at the back of the house. All of the rooms at the back of the house are um, north facing. So they're a little bit darker. So we're looking to put in a glass door in there um, to let in some light from the hallway into the kitchen. And also I think it's just nice rather than walking in the hallway and just being hit by all of these doors, which because we have dogs, they're closed quite a lot. I thought it was nice that your eye can kind of go through and also there will be a glass door going through into the garden as well so you'll be able to see straight through into the garden. I know technically that's bad feng shui but we're doing it anyway. So I'm going to take you into the lounge first. So when you go left from the hallway you're in the lounge. Um, absolutely love this room. We have been spending so much time in here. Our last house we did not spend much time in the lounge at all. So it's really kind of changed the way that we live in the house um so obviously huge window lets in loads of light we love it going to be replaced so it's going to be a lot more efficient <laughs> it's right now it honestly just saps all the heat out it's so so cold right by the window um so yeah we're going to be replacing that like i said we are going to run the wood flooring throughout the lounge as well i know that's kind of personal preference i know a lot of people like carpet in the lounge um like I said, we have dogs, they run around. It just makes more sense for us to have wood flooring. I prefer that aesthetic and I would rather put down nice cozy rugs. Um, yeah, that's my kind of choice on it. And it's just, I don't know, I think it's just gonna make the room look so much brighter, cleaner, just nicer. On the wall to the left of the windows, we obviously have this brick fireplace. So we kind of oohed and ahed about this for quite a while before we moved in. Steve wanted to just demolish the chimney breast. He wanted to get rid of the fireplace, demolish the chimney breast. Um, I put my foot down and said, no, I want to keep it. So I like having the fireplace. The only thing that's weird about it is it's so off center to the room. It's like budged over to the left rather than being in the middle. It is a bit bizarre, but now that we're in here and I have a plan of how to style it, I think it's gonna look more unique rather than just random. So we're looking at painting out all of the brick white um and we're gonna we're gonna change up the fireplace a little bit right now it's a gas fire in there and the kind of whole surround and everything doesn't really match the style that we're going for we want that kind of look which is more of like a oak floating mantle a little bit more simple stripped back um not entirely sure what we're going to do for the actual fire itself um we've got a couple of options there that we're looking into but potentially going for something a lot more kind of black, sleek, simple. I'm gonna put up loads of photos so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, 
I want to make more of a feature of that. I've wanted a fireplace for so long because I just think it's a really nice way to kind of anchor a room. It gives a, a room a focus. Um, and also, I quite like that it kind of hides where we're going to put our TV. So to the right there, we're going to put a really big sideboard. We're going to mount our TV on the wall. So yeah, I think it'll be nice and kind of hidden in that nook there, which I think will look really good. Um, sofa is going to go on this wall here, which is opposite the TV. And then behind me here, we have these glass panels. I did actually have a couple of comments comments saying that we should keep them, but just maybe redo the glass because they let in a lot of light. I completely agree. They do let in a lot of light um, into the back of the house, which is north facing a lot darker. We won't be closing that wall up. We will be keeping it open, but because of layout of the kitchen, like layout of the lounge the opening of where that glass is is ginormous so basically i'm going to try and show you with my hands here where the glass panels are we're going to have stud walls so we are going to be closing up that one set those sections there but the actual opening for the, where the doorway is will remain so we're looking at maybe doing like a sliding barn doors the reason for this is because we we wanted the kind of best of both worlds to be able to have open plan living, which we've been loving so far. But we also want to be able to close it off, have like movie nights, that's something we do quite a lot, make it really cozy in like the winter and just properly close it off. And there are going to be times where, you know, I'm doing something in here and Steve might want to be doing something in the kitchen. And like, it's nice to have that option to close the space off. So that is what we're going to go for. Um, sliding barn doors seem to be the only option because of when we've been laying out and planning furniture and stuff having the door swing either way it's either going to hit the sofa or it's going to hit um the dining table on the other side so that is why we're going for a sliding barn door pocket doors were an option as well but i just prefer the aesthetic of a sliding barn door i've wanted to do something like that for quite some time now but we're going to go for a bit of like a more contemporary take on it less like farmhouse more modern um so yeah really excited about how that's going to turn out i think we're going to use some nice kind of contrasting colors overall theme for this room i just want it to be like really nice bright touches of kind of black to anchor it you guys know that i like just simple clean colors um so yeah i i've got like a really set image of how it's going to look in my mind it'll be so good to see it pulled together before we move on i wanted to share with you guys um the tool that i've been using i think i've told you guys about this before but there is a website called floorplanner.com i think i'll leave the um link here and in the description box in case you guys want to go check it out it's completely free it's completely free you can like add walls drag it around make the room how you want it to be you can add in like different flooring different paint color you can add in furniture they even have like um a kind of gallery of furniture you can pull in ikea sofas so you can literally put like Ikea Kivik sofa or whatever and drag and drop that exact sofa into the space, see how it works. So I've spent a lot of time on that, agonizing over different layouts and things like that. It's really nice being in the space and I feel like the way that we're using the space is how I'd kind of planned. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like sometimes you can move into a house and then be like, oh, actually we're using this very differently to how I thought it would. But so far, everything's kind of like, I haven't changed anything, touch wood, massively from what I was originally planning. But anyway, really helpful tool, 3D visuals, floor plans, whatever you want. It, it's honestly been a lifesaver to be able to like plan rooms out, especially if you struggle to kind of imagine how a room can come together. It is so, so good. So I can't recommend it enough. Anyway, back onto the tour. Um, through those are my sliding barn doors is the dining room. The dining room adjoins onto the kitchen via this very flimsy little stud wall. So that bad boy is gonna be knocked down. We have actually started the process of planning our kitchen. We've talked to a couple of different companies. We're like this close to finalizing exactly what we're gonna have, like this close. I will do that in a separate video because I feel like the kitchen is just a whole other like it needs its own dedicated video because it's such a massive space um and it's such like an important space in the house as well 
but to very quickly summarize we're looking at keeping a lot of the things in the kitchen in the same kind of location so the sink is going to be in front of the window sill um the window still we're moving the hob and the oven to the other wall um we're going to keep that l shape and basically have bar seating we had an island with bar seating in our last house and we loved it and i feel like that is something we're always going to want to have now we use the bar so so much just had some really nice stools there it makes it far more of a kind of communal space when one of us is like cooking and the other one can sit chat you know help out whatever we've absolutely loved that so we wanted to make sure that that was incorporated into this house as well so we're going to keep the l shape have some bar seating we're going to add in like a tower um oven unit because again that's something we had in our last house and i don't think i could go back to having like a a lower um oven now because yeah it's just more pain in the ass and we are also going to be incorporating a big pantry unit as well very excited we're going to have an appliance garage in there so no appliances on the side all of our microwave toaster like blender everything like that will be hidden in a cabinet i literally had the electrician around yesterday to kind of plan out where we're going to put sockets and stuff um roughly plan not finalized plan because obviously we haven't 100 percent finalized the kitchen either um but yeah and then the dining area we obviously have this giant floating pendant light at the moment we are looking to still have a pendant light above the dining table something we've never ever had before and i think it's such a nice kind of feature to be able to include we are on the lookout for a new table because we <laughs> i mean i did realize but our dining table in our last kitchen looked massive we bought it here and it looks tiny so we need to get a bigger one because the area that we have for a dining table is so much bigger which is amazing because we are meant to be hosting christmas this year i know that that's a long way off but i'm hoping everything will be done by then and well most of the things will be done and we can like host people properly so um yeah i'm thinking like a really nice big oak dining table a really cool kind of modern slightly different light fixture to go over there um most of the like all throughout the kitchen and the lounge we are having spotlights the ones in the lounge will be on a dimmer but where we're knocking the wall down between the kitchen and the dining room we're going to be slightly eating into the dining room a little bit so i had an idea to basically right now the pendant light is bang in the middle of the dining room we're looking at budging it over to this back wall a little bit and doing some really nice banquet seating there as well so that'll be much later in the process um that'll literally be more of like a final touch thing but that is what i kind of have in my mind at the moment um so all throughout the hallway we're having wood floor um bedrooms we will be having carpet i feel like i would i wouldn't mind having wooden wood floor in the bedrooms especially in a bungalow but i've said this quite a few times that this isn't our forever home we saw the potential in this place we really really love this house but this won't be a long-term house for us i think we enjoy the process of moving and making something our own so i don't think that as long as it's financially viable i think we will we won't be in our forever home for a long time if that makes sense um so there's a lot of stuff where i'm like oh i would love wood flooring in the bedroom but for resale i think a lot of people prefer to have carpet in the bedroom because england is so cold and you know carpet's cozy and nice so we will be looking at having um carpet in the bedrooms it's also a lot cheaper than having the wood floor as well so all the bedrooms will be carpeted new windows there's not a huge amount that i can say about the bedrooms because they are just going to be decorated basically um we're obviously doing small things like changing out light fittings um skirting boards are probably going to be replaced things like that but you know nothing major is happening in those spaces one thing with the doors they're all hideous brown doors i actually i'm going to keep the doors there's nothing wrong with the doors they're perfectly good but we are going to be painting them white and having some black hardware so this is what we're kind of trying to do now is just think of like a when i say we steve steve doesn't have a lot of design input but i'm trying to kind of make it cohesive room to room 
trying to tie certain things in um, and yeah think about what will look good on a whole so yeah we've got our master bedroom which we've already partially decorated if you haven't seen that video I will link that here I did say in it so basically we've already upcycled the wardrobes um, that were left here they're kind of kind of built in wardrobes but not um, and that there needs to be things done in that room like obviously the new window all the ceilings need to be plastered because there's artex everywhere which we do not want to keep um, things like that obviously new carpet but I do have a different plan for the master bedroom. I think that the wardrobes in there at the moment are far too big. They really swamp the room. They, I love them now that they're painted. I really love them, but I just think they're way too big for the room. So we will be looking, I'll, I'll drop in an image of what I'm kind of thinking of. We like having a TV in our room because we like watching movies and stuff like that in bed. Um, but what I'm thinking is doing a wardrobe on the left and on the right and then having drawers in between the two to kind of create this bit of an open space. We, if we had room, we could potentially put like a nice shelf in there and put some stuff on it, but it gives us a better space to put our TV as well. And I feel like with having more open space, it will feel, the room will feel so much bigger than having these huge, giant floor to ceiling wardrobes in your face. Also, the wardrobes that are there at the moment aren't even centered to the room. We're gonna to need to remove them anyway to, um, be able to do the carpet so nothing in that room is set in stone that's going to live there forever there will be some stuff that's changing but for now i think we're just going to live with it for the next year or so because there's nothing wrong with it right now um anyway moving on to bathrooms so main bathroom we are basically going to be keeping the layout the same it costs a lot more to change the layout so and there's nothing wrong with the layout we're going to keep the bath kind of tucked in that corner behind there i'm thinking of doing some really nice actually i have a sample here some really nice kind of skinny vertical stacked tiles with this kind of it's it's more of like a natural crackle glaze kind of situation so doing that around the bath there um we're going to have like a floating oak vanity there as well a really nice big one just have a close couple toilet we're looking at doing you guys went mental over this when i showed it on my instagram i found this really beautiful kind of charcoal-y nearly black tile um in a hexagon so we're i'm i'm in love with that like i said this might change when we go to like cost it up and decide that it's not worth it but i would love to do a really dark floor in there we're going quite dark on our kitchen so I think it will tie in really nicely because the bathroom and the kitchen both come off of that same little bit of hallway. Um, and this is the kind of bathroom that when we have guests around they need to use the toilet, they'll be going to that bathroom to do their business. So I kind of want it to tie in in a way and having like the white tile with the dark floor, we're having a dark kitchen. I just think it's, it's a nice way of kind of tying that color palette in, but using it in a very different way. So yeah, it's gonna look really, really cool. Also on the left at the moment, when you walk in the bathroom, there's an electric radiator. We're gonna be removing that, which means that that whole kind of corner bit means that I can add loads of storage there. So I'm looking at just adding a kind of freestanding piece of furniture there in oak to kind of match what else is going in the room and it's gonna provide a lot more storage. This is something we really lacked in our last house so I'm so keen to have as much storage as possible but make it really functional but aesthetic as well because at the moment there's a lot of storage in the bathroom but it's not very aesthetic or functional so yeah we're looking to kind of keep that kind of storage element as well but my kind of plan with the dark floor the white tile but then adding in the kind of oak floating vanity and like another kind of oak storage unit that will really help kind of warm the room up so yes, we are using very kind of harsh contrasting colors, but we're gonna warm it up with like wooden tones and things like that as well. Um, another thing I'm toying with, but I just need a quote for it, is whether we add a small skylight or something to that bathroom as well. So yeah, we're looking at options there, how much we can light we can kind of add into the space, whether it makes sense budget wise or not. So that is something we are toying with. Um, other bathroom that we have is the ensuite. So 
At the moment we have quite a large shower in there but the shower could be larger. So we are looking at doing a walk-in shower. I think it's one meter five, one meter six or something. But we are looking at just doing a huge like walk-in shower. So no sliding doors, no kind of like opening doors, just literally having a pane of glass and just stepping straight into the shower. Um, we're looking at keeping that room quite light and bright. So doing a light floor and a light wall tile. But then adding in, we'll have like black fixtures in there, maybe more of a kind of dark charcoal vanity in there to kind of set it off. So again, it's kind of using the same colour palette that we're kind of looking to use in the main bathroom, switching it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, they, I want them to basically tie in together, but be different at the same time. But again, with both bathrooms, we're going to be adding like heated towel radiators, um, things like that. Yeah, it's all going to change basically. Um, the only, oh, oh, garden, I should probably talk to you about the garden. Um, we're not entirely sure what to do with the garden, to be perfectly honest. Um, it, the garden could end up being a massive money pit, so we need to be really, really careful. We would love to do more of a, right now it's super slopey and bumpy. We want to kind of level that out a bit because it's not that usable. We would love to, I mean, we would love to just have one flat lawn, to be honest, but that's not going to happen but we're looking at maybe doing a two-tier garden and staggering it right now we have this kind of rock wall um we're looking at replacing that with more of like a um railway sleeper retaining wall something like that so maybe we just do a two level of that um and then in the very back corner basically that is the corner of the garden that gets the sun um so we're looking at i don't know how we do it whether we do like a deck or whatever but we're looking at having a seating area in that back corner. We could level it off and put a bit of gravel down or something. Not gravel, but like a nice kind of stone. Um, but yeah, that is definitely the corner that I want to have some seating in. The patio area is really, really big. I need to kind of power wash the patio slabs and see what they actually look like. Because there is just years and years and years of grime on those patio slabs. So we're going to power wash them, see what we're working with. Kind of make a decision where we whether we want to um keep them replace them you know it's quite a lot so it'd be expensive to replace them so ideally we would like not to but that kind of patio area is really nice there's like drainage there because it's quite wet in wales there's like a drainage area there it's yeah it's very well set up for entertaining in that particular area there's an overhang from the house so like in summer when it's going to be boiling it's going to be so nice to have a really shady area to sit because we didn't have that in our last house either um so that is the overall kind of vibe what else is there to talk about garage so the garage is really big we have a double garage our intention with that so far is to keep it as a garage we're going to give the garage door a lick of paint because it's actually quite a good garage door it just looks really horrible um but i think with the lick of paint it will actually look really really good it's on a motor which i really like so that makes things a lot easier you can just press a button it opens and i've never had anything like that so honestly like i just find that really cool even though it's not our plan at the moment there is actually a sink in there our boiler lives in there our fuse board lives in there um we're actually thinking of on the back wall in there doing a dog wash station that is our plan at the moment so we're just going to basically put in a couple of really really cheap units maybe lay some like um really cheapy laminate floor make it a bit nicer in there, add some really nice storage. Um, I don't want it to feel like a garage, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. But it would be great to have somewhere to wash the dogs that isn't in the bath or like the kitchen sink. So we're looking at just adding a huge sink in there. Um, just like literally the cheapest stainless steel sink I can get. Whack it in there and get one of those pull out tap things, which would be perfect for washing the dogs thinking of doing that um but there is potential for us to convert it there is potential do i think we'll go down that route i don't think we will but our plan is to basically do most of the work have the house revalued have an expert come out and actually look at it and be able to give us a more accurate um kind of figure as to what we could expect if we were to convert it 
versus if we wouldn't and we need to kind of weigh up like cost of doing the work converting it versus return if we were to sell the house that is where our head is at with that so i think i think that's everything um yeah like i said i'm gonna break down individual videos um room by room i want to be honest about things like how much the kitchen's costing because we did get some shockers there quote wise um so yeah i need to sit down when we do actually decide to go ahead with those rooms and like get them done i'll sit down with you guys and tell you how much we spent on them but right now our focus is just while we're kind of waiting on tying up those little things our focus is just on kind of making individual rooms as good as possible for now like our bedroom we did the walls but we didn't do the flooring or the ceiling we're getting in so many quotes and the most difficult thing about this is just trying to do a timeline of what needs to happen first but yeah i feel like i've covered enough if you guys have any questions ask away dm me leave a comment um on this video i'm happy to answer literally any any questions that you guys may have um next room we're going to focus on is going to be steve's future office so he's not set up in there as an office right now but it will be his office so that's the next room that we are going to be tackling we're going for a very different color scheme in there kind of different anyway it'll be very interesting so watch this space for that but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more renovation content coming your way and please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel as well and i will see you guys in the next one Bye.